I was searching for a long time, like for, for, a, for, for a, a system that really was user friendly, that looked good, that was easy to na navigate through and really uh, created a, um, a feeling for the student that they were in a classroom. And I found that with Thinkific. So it, it really was a, a complete change. And a lot of my students who've carried over from the old days and the old system ha have, have said and they've commented that it's uh, such a, a more wonderful experience and they feel so much more connected. And I think that's, uh, you know, the Thinkific uh, um, system, which makes it easy for them to go through. So that's really, really great. And one of the reasons, you know, why I chose Thinkific, uh, you know, I evaluated a few and looked through a few other uh, systems. So really what I did was I, I just removed all the technical jargon. You know, I, I'm not a PhD, okay? I don't hold a PhD and I, I don't teach like, uh, uh, you know, someone who has a PhD. And what I mean by that is, you know, every time I stepped in the classroom, you know, whether it was live in person or, you know, or, or you know, my, my online material, uh, the students right away said, I, I can tell that, that you're, you're, you're not a researcher, you're not a PhD, and you're someone who cares about you know, being able to deliver the message so that we can understand it. So uh, I just removed all the technical jargon and just started to explain it in simple terms so people could understand it. And I stayed away from, you know, even in the mathematics, you know, the, 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 the detail of the, you know, the formula. I mean, I would see other providers and their material and they would be focusing on making sure you got the subscripts right. And I was like, what? What are you talking about? Such a, right. a waste of time. Yeah. And and so uh, I, I would clear away all of that those uh, distractions and help people to zero in on, on the material that they need to know. And then I just started writing my material in, in this way. And uh, you know, when people would read my materials, they, they it, it was a big difference than than others. <laughs> and uh, so you know, that's really uh, uh, what has separated me from. I think the the rest of the pack and um you know uh, um i i create my materials okay uh, i you know i've dabbled in having other people try to write things for me but uh, um, you know i always end up going over it myself because you know uh, there's there's you know difference in the way that i say it i mean that's what people are paying for they want to know how i'm saying it and uh, and then you know make it easier for them Things have changed uh, with Thinkific, where I've created um, a, well, listen, again, I'm doing it all on my own. What I think is this type of funnel, uh, and, I've, and I've linked it up with uh, ConvertKit. So I've created a series of, of, of email chains. I just prospect for potential uh, customers by producing YouTube videos. I mean, they're pretty low tech. I mean, just me giving out advice, talking. And uh, so people will find me. They'll, they'll, they'll watch one of my YouTube videos or they'll try a sample. You know, with the Thinkific site, I, you know, I've got free previews. You know, I think that's great. So once they're in my, in my funnel now, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so so now, uh, you know, depending upon their actions, and this is what's really intriguing and I love, it's so, it's so interesting, uh, is, is um, the messages that I send them based upon you know, what they do or what they don't do. If they do nothing, they get a certain message. If they do something, if they interact with me, they get another message. So people were, were really amazed. I mean, how were you following me? What are you doing? So someone comes, they, they, they go to my site. I mean, I mean, my site is really low tech. I'm in the process of redoing it actually. Uh, but you know, they read, they read the comments from the other students. These people are looking, you know, they're, they're studying alone. They're, they're really looking for help. Uh, it may have been many years since they've done math or used a calculator, they're nervous. And so they'll find me and, uh, and then they will try a sample and uh, they will then, you know, they're into my, um, um, you know, my funnel. Yeah. And what else that I've done recently, which, uh, you know, I've really, you know, really wanted to connect with people on a personal level, more than just these kind of chain emails and things. So I'll actually send to everybody a, an email directly from me you know, that, you know, says something personal. So they know it's not a, it's not just a, you know, a robot or whatever. And people respond to that. And they were like, really, wow, I can't believe that you actually sent me this email like this. And it was really fantastic. And, and I'll say, yeah, look, if you want to have a zoom call or you want to you know, have a phone call, I'm happy to do that. And uh, so I think that people, 
like that. And, you know, I'm not an overly aggressive salesman <laughs> and it's, you know, Hey, listen, if I can help you out, I can help you out. And, uh, I'm happy to spend time on the phone and lots of people, you know, just want to speak to somebody that's, <laughs> yeah. I've got products that are from, um, you know, $69 to, uh, $800, uh, in terms of pricing. Uh, so, um, my materials, you know, I'm not the lowest cost provider, as I said, you know, but that, and that's because I, I, I provide more, uh, you know, of a personalized service for my students. And uh, so, uh, you know, it's, it's interesting. I, I, I tried with, uh, I tried with pricing. I, I thought, you know, maybe there's a magic number. You know, I started doing things uh, at $69 and thought, let's maybe people will just buy it at $69. And, uh, you know, as opposed to spending $800, you know, but I, I found that, um, you know that the students actually just either they bought it or they didn't so uh so i didn't want to you know break up my my programs into these smaller components uh, uh and um which i used to have which caused a little confusion and such but right now you know uh my products are pretty much standardized in terms of being able to buy study notes practice questions you know videos tutoring that's that's it or you buy it as a package and most of my students are just buying it as a package they just want the convenience and they just want a one-stop you know uh, experience where they can go you know from beginning to end so I, I found you know with pricing that you know I'm, I'm not the least expensive i'm also not the most expensive right. out there and that seemed to to work for me and uh so that's uh, how i've come up with it you know i would say you know if you have a love and a passion for teaching Okay, then I think that's really going to come through and that will drive your success. Mm. If you're just, you know, this is, you're thinking of a business and what can you do to, for sales and mm. that's it. I think that's the, the wrong attitude. So, you know, do something that you're really passionate about that you, that you really can, you know, have an expertise and add value and, and make people really come away saying, yeah, I really learned something or that really helped me. I think that's really uh, the secret for success 